Okay, welcome back to Grounded. We are heading to that point over there, because that's where the hedgerow... He marked it on my device for me. Okay, let's see. We are, we are right here, and it must be over this way somewhere. Okay, right there. So we got a lot of ground to cover to get to it. Something over here too. Super tech chip. Oh. Oh, so there's a chip over here too. Wait, why did it put it? Oh. To get. Okay, let's do that. That's home. That's that. Offline user. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what that... That is? Offline user. Can we change that? shovel. Which, can I make it? Let's take a look. Crafting, tools, shovel. Oh, I need a sprout. Ooh, water. Which I don't have anything to carry it in right now. Let's grab another acorn. Lots of water droplets, that's good. I probably should just go back to my... I wonder my... if I could keep that aphid as a pet. I wonder if I should go back to my base and then head out in the daytime. Mm -hmm. seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon Crime. Huh, catchy name. Yeah, we'll head back and we can sleep then. Plus, I kind of want to get... Research first. Oh, all the ladybugs are sleeping.
I'm pretty lot closer to it now too. Okay, let's make um where are they? They're there. I gotta make a staircase too. Take a look at the build menu. Uh, let's see, floor. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm doing it the right direction. Let's take a look. Stairs. Just one kind of thing. Bird. Okay, let's uh, I don't, uh, I want to put some wall, some walls up, but whoop. I think I don't want to limit myself to just a tiny little building.
stems is what I will need. Okay, let's head to the... Oh, there's dandelions there. Let's go grab a couple. Research that first. Can't spot it. Let's go research that. I think I need a upgrade. Yeah, I do. I need a better axe. at any place then. To the um, the whole goal for this episode was going to be to head to the other spot. Oh, here. One what? long schnoz built for sniffing. <laughs> Let's go cook that up. We do need food and water first, and then we'll head up. Chewy, but not bad. Okay. Got our food. Where's that juice box at? through here that'll be good
get running again. Great Shelob's ghost! <laughs> Should probably grab some of this dry grass too. Dear Beetle, put on your peepers. The Kinder Science lab modules have not held up as well as anticipated. I thought hiding these lab units in the hedge would provide a bit of protection from my rampaging children. But it appears not even the sanctuary of these leaves can protect my work from an errant flingman disc. The subsequent breaches in the lab structures have invited all manner of arachnid invaders to wander in. My plan is to recalibrate the tasty bots for defensive action. A stopgap solution, to be sure, but I've no time for repairs, not when I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of all science. chunk I would think. Okay, where is that marker I had set? I wonder 
if I could keep that aphid as a pet? There's something to drink in it. Oh. Ah, 
I'm trapped! Raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? If there's one sputtering, there's bound to be more of them. Review the progress of the last few months. I am getting ever closer to perfecting the spacer. Raw science containment has been a success. At last measurement, we are within 0.2% translation accuracy, but those final infinitesimal bits have proven the most difficult. Despite that, Burgle and I have been able to transit the miniature world without incident. I must admit it has been a bit overwhelming of late. Between school, grading papers, nightly work in the yard, and this sweltering summer heat, I feel stretched thin. Some nights I find myself too exhausted to work on my experiments. All this is going to give me gray hairs. I mean, why just the other day, Trudy said that the stress is putting new wrinkles on my face. She may have a point about the hair, though. As much as I'm loath to admit it, it does seem to be thinning. Perhaps it's time to dig out the Skeddy clamp and try it on myself. I'm sure it's in a bin or box around here somewhere. Mmm! Salt! My mom always says I light up a room. Oh, 
Oh, I just dropped those. Those are the mushrooms. <laughs> Water filtration tablets needed. Nice. Firefly, nature's lantern. I want to get up there, but I can't. Hmm. Alright, I think that's going to have to be a later date.
getting bugs. Yep. I like the droop of the drops. Right up ahead, the goblin of the backyard. You know what you say? A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little mites. Nice and clean. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Almanent may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. Hmm. An auspicious beginning. I should have done the spider web. There's so many different parts that I have. Hey, Fid. Where's my base? There it is. and stuff now. Need clay though. Headlamp. Acorn mask. So I need rope. Rub goggles, gas mask. That might be something I want to try doing. Okay, we've got spears, spiked club. I do have. 
grab that spike club now. Weevil shield. Cool. Garden smoothie station water collector. Okay, I need to make two vines, which... Okay, I need plant fiber. Okay, let's go um Do some research. Quick. A little bit longer episode because we don't so much exploring. I think this can be a water. You can make water collectors with the spider web. Science! Basketball. Mountain basketball. Well, that's pretty pointless. <laughs> Repair glue. Insect hammer. That might be a better... Ant club. Okay, now I can... Now I can research that. I don't need my torch anymore. Okay, that's where we're going to leave off with this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Heather for being a channel member and continued supporting the channel. I appreciate it very much. If you are interested in helping me continue to con maintain the channel going, keep it going, please consider becoming a channel member. It's only $4.99 a month. You get uh, benefits to being a member, plus then you get to help keep my channel going. Uh, ad money is not all that great, so a monthly would be incredibly appreciated um, or if you're not interested in becoming a member uh, I do offer super thanks and that's another good way to help show your support for the channel thank you so much have a great rest of your day